All right, let's add simple moving average to the chart. At this moment, I have Apple using Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. So as you can see on this chart, I don't have any lines, but I wanna be able to see on a daily chart some moving averages such as 50 day moving average, most uh, used 200 day moving average or 20 day moving average. So let's go to study on the top right corner, you will see this study button. You're gonna go to add study and then you're gonna scroll to moving averages. You will select daily SMA. Once we click on this, you're gonna see we will have this blue dotted line. So what we're gonna do is edit this. We're gonna right click, edit study, and right here we can adjust some things here. So currently I have nine days, so I'm gonna select 50 day, okay? And drawn as dashed here, so I'm gonna select plain line here. I'm gonna select the width. I want the line to be a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna go to two, number two, and I will select the call color of the 50 day moving average as yellow. Once I am done with this, I will apply and I will click OK. And now when I zoom out to daily chart right here, one year chart of the Apple, I do have a 50 day simple moving average. And since I don't wanna do this every time, I can go to study, save this study, and I can save this study as 50 day moving average. And once I save this, Every time I want to use it, if it kicks out, I can just go to load style and find that I saved this 50 day moving average and load it from there. But I want to be able to look at the other moving averages at the same time. So what I'm going to do is right here on this page, I will go to study again, repeat this process, add study, moving averages, daily SMA, I will select that. And again, I'm gonna edit this blue uh, dotted um, default settings. I'm gonna change it to 20 day. So let's put 20 day, uh, change the drawing again. Let's keep this color, make it thick, apply, click OK. And now on my chart, I do have a 20 day moving average as well. So, and when I switch to different time frames, let's say, I'm switching to a um, one hour, 30 day chart. Um, you can see these lines are a um, little bit different, but it's, it's adjusting because this is the average, this is just an average price what people have paid in the past 20 days. So let's say I wanna buy Apple and currently it is at 171. I know that in the past 50 days, um, average price people paid was 181. And in the past 20 days, I know that average price was 177. A lot, a, a lot of people in the past 20 days, that's what their average is, okay? So that's what it is for. And I can just zoom out to uh, one day again, and I'm gonna add again uh, one more study, which will be um, moving average daily SMA for 200 day moving average. I will go again, add study, I will click here, enter 200 day moving average. I'm gonna change the drawing style. Uh, I'm gonna change the color to red and I will change the thickness of this uh, line as well. And I will click apply and say, okay. Now I have in my chart, 50 day moving average, 20 day moving average and 200 day moving average and I will go to save this study. I will go to studies again. I'm gonna say save that set and I'm gonna say um, tutorial one. So, and every time I don't have this set up or I'm just watching, let's say I switch to just VVAP um, and I wanna look at the moving averages, I can just load this right here where I saved it as a tutorial as soon as I click it, I have these studies back on. So that's how you uh, basically add a moving average study in your Thinkorswim. That's the video. Thanks for watching.